Serving in Tesla Going back, shawty with me, I stand do you guys want cheap stubs on the market? Make sure you guys go to AllMLB.com, today's sponsor, and make sure you guys use code MAIT for 5% off your purchase. Alright boys, today it is time to rank the best cards in MLB The Show 21. The guys, this should be on everyone's God Squads, the best of the best, the top tier, doesn't matter the stub count or what you need to do for these stubs. For some of these cards in this video, you're gonna go have to take your mom's credit card and swipe it till it declines. Just be able to get your hands on some of these cards, but they are the best cards in MLB The Show 21. Before we get into this video, these are my opinions. A lot of these to me and to you might be some seriously hot takes. So if you guys have anything different, let me know in the comment section below. But we are going to be rating the best cards in MLB The Show 21. And I'm also going to be talking about why I think certain cards are trash or certain cards are amazing. <laughs> Alright boys, we start every one of these ranking videos with some honorable mentions. Now these are the guys that I had to put in the honorable mentions. And the first one is going to be Kershaw. Now you guys are probably throwing a fit in the comment section below, but here's the thing about Kershaw, and I'm gonna be the one to say it. It's gonna be me. Nobody else is saying it, except for like one other guy. His per nine suck. They suck. 99% of the amazing players in the game right now are either switch hitters or right-handed hitters. The brand new Frank, Mickey Mantle, Chipper, all right-handed pitcher hitters that rail lefties that I don't have a single lefty in my rotation. And this Kershaw with 107 hits per nine is just not going to do it. I might try him out. And might is a really hot take considering there are so many other guys you can get for the amount of stubs that you can get Kershaw. All right, that is my Kershaw tangent. The next honorable mention is Cody Bellinger. Now, I like Cody Bellinger a lot, and the reason why he is an honorable mention is because he has such a great swing. If you look at the Battle Royale program, I am at 94. I'm so close to this guy. I'm like three games away. I'll have him by tonight or tomorrow, but he plays above his stats. If you've ever swung with the Cody Bellinger card, you know that his stats don't always look the greatest. But the guy rakes. When you look at his finest stats last year, they looked pretty similar to this. And he was one of my best hitters on my team. The fact that I needed to put him there, he's going to have 99 fielding. I'm probably going to end up putting him in like right field. I know a lot of people are going to say that you should put him at first. Why put him at first? He has 99 fielding and right with a 99 arm. And he's going to have about 84 speed once I get him paralleled. His power stats are amazing. I love Cody Bellinger cards every single year, even though he's a trash can in real life right now. The last guy on the honorable mentions is Edward Cabrera. Now, a lot of you guys are going to be like, Edward Cabrera deserved to make this list. And a lot of other people probably deserve to make this list. Yeah, and the honorable mentions, yeah. But Edward Cabrera has to be in the conversation. I don't care what you say. I think he is literally one of the better pitchers in the game. He, has, he, he still pitches good for me. He still pitches this well. 73 innings, 2.71 ERA. I am honestly starting to wonder at this point if Edward Cabrera card because of how good he is playing it's kind of unreal how good this card plays he shouldn't play this good but he does he throws a hundred there's not many other outlier guys in the game that are like outlier sinker guys he throws like a hundred every single time i don't know what to say the dude is amazing all right boys we're gonna start to get the list out now a lot of guys are on my squad some of the guys actually aren't at all but the number 10 spot on the list is Adley Rutschman. The reason why I have Adley Rutschman is he is a switch hitter. And when I see that this guy's swing is just crispy, it is crispy. He made me boot Schwarber on the bench. And that took a lot for me. I love Schwarber. But Schwarber had to go because Adley's a switch hitter. And Adley flat out dates moms and hits bombs. The dude's an animal. At the number nine spot today, we have a guy who's not even in my lineup. And I am putting him here for the simple fact that he's good. I just absolutely swallow with this card. And that's Vladimir Guerrero. Now, I'm hitting 240 with him. But attributes-wise, this card absolutely rails baseballs. He pretty much is max first righties. And a lot of guys are way better 
than I am with the guy, so I'm not going to hate on him because I'm terrible with him, but he is a great card. He has a great swing. I love Vlad Jr., and I'm wondering if he'll even get a bigger, juiced card very, very soon whenever he wins the Triple Crown. We'll see what they end up doing, but I'm really curious to see what they do with that. At the number eight spot today, I actually have some bullpen guys on this top 10 list, and at the number eight spot today, we actually have Mariano Rivera. Now, I love Rivera. I absolutely love Rivera. He's got a 1.69 ERA for me in 21 innings and ranked. This is Hall of Fame and Legend versus Top 200 players. You guys know I've made it up to the Top 400 in the world, and we've made it up to 1,000, 1,050. These games are on Hall of Fame, Legend, on even All-Star. Mariano Rivera shoves for me, and he's always someone I can rely on out of the pin. Him and one other guy. The next guy on our list is actually going to be someone that a lot of people don't end up putting on their tier lists. And I'm going to put my creative player, Harry freaking Cox, at the 7-hole. Now, guys, I don't care what you say. Caps are amazing. They have pretty much, pretty much dang near max stats. And they absolutely rake. And you can put whatever swing you want on them. Put them at any position. Have them be diamond fielding and have 99 speed. Like, they are just a complete five tool player of MLB The Show 21 and I don't care what you guys say ball players have to make this list because they are going to be in game and I still think that these these cards are in game with equipment with the right perks with the hawk whatever you got on your guy he can be an elite defender and hit absolute tanks you can put him at second base, shortstop, center field, wherever you want to end up putting your cap. It makes him so versatile and good that you gotta put the caps on this list. At the number six spot, I am biased. I do not care. It is Justin Verlander. Now, I don't care what you guys say. This guy shoves. 2-3-8 ERA, Hall of Fame and Legend. 22 innings pitch. JV is an absolute dog. I love this guy to death. You guys know I'm a big Detroit Tigers fan. And they gave him that juiced outlier heater with amazing per nines. He has max hits per nine. And once I get this guy parallel, he'll have over 110 Ks per nine. Stats-wise, this card is nuts. It makes him to the level of DeGrom almost. Obviously, not quite there. But I think that Justin Berlander is the second best pitcher in MLB The Show 21. And I feel like that isn't a hot take because the guy just flat out shoves. And if you face Verlander, you understand that on Hall of Fame on Legend, it is just gas. And those hits per nine make your PCI so small that he is so dang good. At the number five spot, we got another guy that I do not have, but I am very close to ending up getting. And it is going to be Mookie freaking Betts. Now, Mookie Betts is really dang good. And I love Mookie. The only thing about Mookie, and I know that a lot of guys have said this already, and I've said this in past videos, he is really, really hard to get. And I know it's gotten a lot easier now because there's all the Team Affinity stuff, which I am about halfway done on Team Affinity. I'm not completely there, but even if it's still about a couple million for this card, and I just got to say it, I think that for the grind that you have to have for Mookie Betts, it's not worth it. There's going to be other guys that come in the game that are going to be just as good. If you're looking at it from an outfield perspective, just wait. Like, we already got Mickey Mantle. Mickey Mantle is a better, he's a better card than Mookie Betts. And the fact that he is free and Mookie Betts is like three million, I just I just don't really see it. Now let me know in the comment section what you guys think, but I just I don't think Mookie Betts is an absolute stud. He's at the five spot today because yes, he is still one of the better players of the game, but I don't know if he's worth it. At the number four spot today, now this is a little bit of a hot take, but it's Frank the Tank, best hitting card in the game. Once you get this guy paralleled, he is literally max hitting stats. Max hitting stats, yeah, yeah, you heard that right. He is an absolute goat, he hits, he just hits bombs. He is a stud, he's gonna be my three hole for the rest of the year, I love this guy, and they did him amazing, great swing, and he is an absolute unit. At the number three spot today, we got the best pitcher in the game, and it is going to be Jacob DeGrom. Nobody, everyone expected this. He's got a 3 5 year array for me, which I know a lot of you guys are going to be like, wow, that's terrible. But he's 13 and 4 with 103 innings pitch. He has had a hard workload on my team, and he is still just playing so well that I love DeGrom for it because he is one of the most consistent guys on my team, and I am not taking him out all year. Best pitcher in the game, DeGoat, is a stud. 
at the number two spot today. Now, you're thinking that he's number one. It is actually going to be Chipper Jones. Now, you cannot argue with Chipper Jones. He's hitting 334 for me. He's been on the team since the beginning of the year. Parallel five stud. Now, what makes Chipper Jones the best card in the game, and I'm going to say it, is he has the best swing in MLB The Show every single year. And the community agrees with me that I had to put him at the number two and number one spot. He is going to be a top tier card all all year no matter what game it is because of how good that swing is and how good they always make this guy's stats are man he just plays so good he's got over 110 rbis for me i love chipper jones and he's not going anywhere and at the number one spot today the man the myth mickey freaking mantle i love this card the reason why i love this card is he is completely five tool not only is he one of the best hitting cards in the game not only is he a switch hitter not only does he have 90 fielding once you get him to parallel three but he is going to once he's paralleled up have 96 speed in center field the guy is good at every single thing in mlb the show he has got a good swing he checks every box and that card is honestly i think is the best card in mlb the show 21 and he's not going from anybody's lineups for the rest of the year if you boys ended up enjoying this video, make sure you guys drop a like and a sub. If you guys think that I missed any, let me know in the comment section below. I love talking about these type of things. And let me know why you think that card is better than any of the cards I ended up putting in this video. I'll talk to you guys later. Have a great rest of your day and peace.